One of the last things we need to do before we start adding our actual content is to work on our widgets over here. So by default, it just puts the archives and the meta login, but that's not really very helpful for anybody. So we're going to go ahead and change those. So let's go back into our admin area and under appearance, we're going to click on widgets. So there are no widgets put in anywhere right here. Um, so we're going to have to add those in. So the sidebar widget area is your main widget area, which is this area over here. So this is what I'm going to add in. And of course, you can add in whatever you want to add here. Um, so I'm going to take the events calendar and we're going to call this PTA calendar. We'll save that. So now if we refresh, you're going to see these go away because they're the defaults and we're just going to have the events calendar there now. This shows you the events calendar for August 2011. Featured event. And we're going to call this next PTA meeting. And we can have this do just our next meeting, but I'm going to have it do the next PTA meeting so that people always know when the next PTA meeting is going to be. So we're going to save that and we'll assign the category of PTA meetings. Shrink that down. Now let's do the events list widget. And we can call this, uh, we'll just leave it as upcoming events and five of them is fine. It says show this widget only if there are upcoming events. If you want, you can uh, turn that off. I like to leave that on. That way people know that there are, you know, there is something there. And if you want to change your category to just specific things, you can. So if you want to have, you know, just upcoming PTA events, you could change this. I'm going to leave it at all events and we'll hit save. And let's go back and take a look at those two changes we made. So now we have our next PTA meeting. It tells you about it right there. It gives you the date. And then also the next five upcoming events. Now let's go back to our widgets. We'll shrink the upcoming events down. And now let's do recent posts. So that'll be something that the most recent things that we wrote. And we'll call that recent news from the PTA. And five is fine. You can change that if you want to, but I'll leave it at the default. And then let's do the archives because that way people can look at past news. And we'll call that this and we'll display ours as a drop down because it's going to start to get pretty big. And then let's also do some of our categories. So we'll take categories from over here. And we'll call these PTA news categories and we'll save that and now if we go back and refresh this see that we have recent news so these are the only two news posts that are on there right now the archive that's when these were created and then right now we don't have any news categories although we should capitalize news so let's go back in and change that real quick news and save so now we have our widget set up go ahead and refresh this real quick Oh, and the other thing that I like to add, actually, because a lot of people ask us where our, how we created our website is we like to put our premium badge in, and that way people know. Oops, let me close this up real quick. That way people know how our site is being run. And that doesn't have any options at all, but if you refresh that, you'll see that it just adds a digital PTO logo down there. And that's how you set up the widgets for your site. And there's a ton of other widgets to add in there, but those are kind of my favorite ones to add.